One good zap from that electrobolt plasmid should get you into the archives. Your possessions define you. Don't they deserve to be protected? Airtight Archives offers the most secure choice that you can make. Remember, that's Airtight Archives, located in Minerva's Den. just doing my job, and these pencil necks ain't conducting themselves in a way that'll make it go easy for them. Mr. Ryan needs to keep an eye on what certain subversives got circulating in the archives. That's just the way it is. These pinkos think the bandits are just gonna play nice? Send their plans to the Central Council with a bow on top? When it comes to Mr. Ryan, you're either with him or you ain't. Get used to it.
looks like a man. This is a simple toy? No. I have heard that Ryan is becoming paranoid. Clear a room of clutter, or your enemies. Watch them try to resist the pull of Gravity Well. The Tinker knows what you're going to do with that, and it isn't happy. Welcome to the Circus 
The machine's prediction accounts for your every act. Until you reach the thinker's core. The equation simply ends. I will not let such an error come to pass. Up and over, friend. Once you toss that gravity well over the divider, the suction will do the rest. Bingo. That's the way. We're one step closer to getting the Thinker's blueprint out of Rapture. Head down the lift to operations. Come on.
Operations, you're nearing the heart of the machine. Visitors to Minerva's Den are reminded that the operations wing of Rapture Central Computing is strictly off-limits. Sigma! You show such loyalty to a proven traitor! What is Porter to you? A convenient excuse to disrupt my work? Or something... more? I am curious, I must admit. But not enough to let you live. Sphere at my lab that should be able to get us the hell out of Rapture, but we can't launch just yet. First, we'll need to reprogram a signal beacon. That nutcase lamb's got the city on lockdown, but a hacked beacon should keep her torpedoes at bay. See what you can find. The seafloor outside Minerva's den is a machine graveyard. With a little luck, you should find the beacon we need out there. I must keep an eye on Porter and his thinking machine. There's more than one way to muscle out a rival, and I suspect that Fontaine is vying for market dominance in computing now as well. Each hour, that contraption spends crunching genetic code for Fontaine, brings my city one step closer. After some searching, I made contact with Charles Milton Porter in Minerva's death. A productive exchange. Clearly, Rapture is no place to continue my research. But Porter says that if he can find a way to return to the surface, along with the programming for his mainframe, we could then rebuild the machine and work together towards the cure. I have located an Alpha series to assist him. Subject Sigma. I must return to the surface. If Sigma is successful in Minerva's den, then the cure for Adam's curse is on its way. It is only a matter of time.
Mr. What? <laughs> Boys in the code pit whipped up a real doozy of an entertainment. Monitor screen hooked into a sort of tiny airplane cockpit, yeah? And that's swell, because what shows up on screen is an X, that's you, and a bunch of O's, like a Spitfire surrounded by a squadron of Jap Zeros. You fly your little X around and shoot them down one after another. The wall caught us at it one night, called it a waste of time. I don't know. On balance, ain't it better to change what's on the screen than just stare at it? Hey, Felix. I hear Porter is really happy about the new trajectory calculation routine. You know, the one that we worked on for six months? The one you took all the credit for? Oh, that reminds me. If you're looking for the key to your brand new office, you might want to check in the Circus of Values down the hall. Hope you brought your milk money, asshole. Continuing input of audio data into the thinker's database. Subject, Pearl Porter. I want to tell the recorder how we met, Milton. Okay, sure. I was working in my family's diner. School was starting for the fall. And one morning, in walks this college boy. Clean cut. First thing I noticed was his eyes. He sat down and ordered bacon, eggs, and coffee. He was shy, but we talked a little off and on. He came in every single morning for breakfast and ordered the same thing. I told my mama, that boy must really love your cooking. She said, he isn't coming in for the food, honey. He's coming in for you. A year later, we were married. Thank you. 
Some damn fool stuck his finger in the socket. To get out through the airlock, you'll have to break the circuit somehow. figured out how to reprogram a bathysphere signal beacon to scramble Lamb's torpedoes. But I need access to a bathysphere, and Porter's got the only one in the den locked away at his private dock. Son of a bitch, why doesn't he open up? down bathysphere. They each had a signal beacon we could use. at home, Sigma. Soon you also will be rusting here among the trash, used up by Porter and tossed on the heap. That'll do the trick. Take the beacon to the master input console in the programming wing. That paranoid bastard Wall had it installed in his office. Surprise, Sigma! The technology of Minerva's den keeps Rapture running smoothly. Unauthorized tampering with computer equipment is a punishable offense. Who's there? <laughs>
I read to you now from the machine's prediction. Sigma enters Minerva's den, encounters hostility. Sigma enters Wall's chambers. You see, the thinker has chosen me. It does not care what I once did. The technology of Minerva's Den keeps Rapture running smoothly. Unauthorized tampering with computer equipment is a punishable offense. I can run the hack sequence from here. Just one minute. That should do it. I hope. If the hack turned out right, you are now the proud owner of one homemade signal jammer. Porter worries you with Sophia Lamb's torpedoes? Ha! He fills your head with foolish visions of freedom. I can provide you more immediately.
So far, so good. I can feel the sunlight already. Now we just print out the machine code from the Thinker's central processor so I can take it to the surface and... Start to rebuild. Computer core access is at the far end of ops. What would Rapture be like without automation? From self-opening doors to pneumatic deliveries, Rapture's central computing keeps life running smoothly.
It's not your time to enter the core. Not just yet. Wall, you son of a bitch. He's cranked the thinker's coolant system into overdrive. You're frozen out of the core. Head to climate control and manually reset the turbine to defrost this mess. It's the only way we're going to make it to the thinker. is at war, Porter. And you have cast your lot with the enemy. Your concerned associates provided me with a recording of your own voice, swearing loyalty to Fontaine and his gangsters. Evidence of treason. My men are already on their way. The Thinker no longer needs you. Take pride in that. Mr. Wall is qualified to ensure that it is used in the city's best interest. Eventually, a man's dream exceeds him, and his work becomes his legacy. For you, Charles, that hour has come.
like that. Give it. I need your number, you machine. Continuing input of audio data into the thinker's database. Subject. Pro Porter. I'm recording this on the sixth straight day since you were homeland. I know your work is important to the war effort. And that's so frustrating. London is a beautiful city, but it isn't home. I I hope I'll see you soon, Milton. I <laughs> ending input. Sigma, the main cooling turbine is in overdrive. The controls should be down below.
That'll do. The chamber leading the mainframe access is defrosting as we speak. Head on back there. Next stop, the Thinker's computer core. The ice was meant to send a message, Sigma, but you do not listen. Perhaps your brothers can open your ears. The irony of my predictive equation. Is that it sometimes requires blind faith. I see the individual elements crashing against each other, and the urgency of what I must do to maintain my part in the plan is clear. But I cannot always see just why. An Alpha series is headed to Minerva's den, subject Sigma, and the equation states that if he reaches the computer core, catastrophe! I do not know why. Yet. But I know what must be done. Subject Sigma is approaching Minerva's den. He must not reach the Thinker. Detonate the tunnel! is nearing its conclusion, Sigma. The answers lie in the core. The thinker is waiting for you, Sigma. And so am I. Still crunching the numbers. Watch out. There's one way into the core that Wall can't lock off. The maintenance access shaft. Sorry to send you down through the pit. It's all we've got.
What is driving you into the core, Sigma? What compels you to defy the Thinker's equation? Sigma, you have never even met them! Ryan's secret police came for Potter long ago, and now he has reappeared in Minerva's den? A man sent to Persephone does not just open his cell door and walk home. Machine. You did not listen! When the pangs of familiarity sting you, my friend, you will have only yourself to blame. Well, Thinker, Ryan's secret police are on their way. They cooked up some kind of evidence against me. Treason, they say. I've heard what happens to folks who get disappeared, come back as one of those metal daddies. So, I'm leaving you with something to cogitate on in my absence. Inputting Rapture Departure Protocol. Figure a way to get yourself out of this city, Thinker. You've got to live on, no matter what happens to me. You'll find a way. is upstairs in the control booth. Top level access only. You'll need to confirm your genetic identity to start the printer.
hand, you see? The thinker is shut down. That leaves only two variables, you and me. The equation ends here. Herr Sigma, it is Dr. Tannenbaum. With the computer disabled, my nervous den is falling to pieces. No pressure regulation, no air supply. You must defeat Vol and bring the thing back to full power. Take the administrator punch card from Val's body and reactivate the thinker.
Welcome back. Uh, system in ending personality duplication. Subject, Charles Milton Porter. You see now why I let the machine speak for you, Mr. Porter. We needed a voice that would be familiar, comforting, your own. With that copy of the Thinker's programming, we may return to the surface and use it to restore you to the man you once were. Please, collect the printout and meet me at your bathysphere dock. Take your time, Mr. Porter. I will be waiting. feeding audio recordings and personal anecdotes to the thinker. I am set to test the personality duplication function. Target personality, Pearl Porter. Thinker, are you ready? Yes, Milton. <clears throat> Starting test. Hello, Pearl. Hello, Milton. How... <coughs> How have you been? Just wonderful, Milton. I've missed you, though. It's been so long. Pearl, I... No. No, this isn't right. It isn't her. Thinker, stop the test. But what's the matter, Milton? Oh, God. Don't you still love me? Oh, God. I... Oh, God. I said... I said... End function, Thinker. Now! It's over. The Thinker never gave up on you, Mr. Porter. It could not leave you behind. Please, step up to the console and begin the Bathysphere launch sequence. We have much work ahead of us. I lived through the Blitz, Pearl, and the fall of Rapture. They took my memory, my voice, everything that made me a man, but nothing ever scared me so much as saying goodbye. I wanted to save you. I couldn't resist trying to bring you back the only way I knew how, but you didn't want that. I know it now, and I think I'm finally ready to let you go your way. I stand here with the sun on my face, and it's almost like I can feel you smiling. Goodbye, Pearl. I love you more than I've got words for. Milton. <laughs> 